and welcome back everybody to Hayes Tech and ROM Reviews. Uh, we're going to go over Aquarius OS on the Nexus 6P for you guys today. This Aquarius build is a Pi build or Android version 9.0 and it is loaded with features guys. I really do like this ROM. It's got a lot of features. Uh, when we get into it you guys are going to see and you're going to love it. So, uh, so when we come back we're going to go ahead and take a look at this awesome ROM. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. You hit that notification icon to get a notification of my videos as soon as they're released. That way you don't miss any of them. Okay, this is Aquarius OS uh, Android version 9.0. This is the Nexus 6P. Before we get into this, guys, I want to give a little bit of background on the Nexus 6P. This is a device that was made by Huawei back when the Huawei Mate 5 was out. I think don't quote me on that guys but it was very close to that error uh, if you look at the back of it uh, this phone screams Huawei now I've seen some reviews on this phone Jerry rig everything if you guys watch that channel uh, he busted this phone in half without any input on his behalf <laughs> much at all I mean it just snapped in half so I'm gonna go ahead and agree with him on that this is not the sturdiest phone ever made so guys put it in the case be careful with it uh, it is what it is also this phone has an issue with the processor it gets overheated uh, some of the elements in there melt or get loose and then you end up having to run with four of the eight cores this is an octa core processor device mine however hasn't had that issue i haven't had to revert to flashing uh, the blood patch which basically just allows your device to boot up and run with only four cores so we're going to go ahead and get into this we're going to go ahead and go into settings and i'm going to go down to about phone let you guys see uh, this is android and this is an Nexus 6p uh, i am of course on verizon so this is android version 9 if we click on that and we tap several times on that that's going to bring up the pie easter egg uh, click the back button it'll bring us back uh, you can see angler this is the build version I'm running the supplied kernel uh, nothing crazy on this I didn't do anything I shouldn't be doing like running a custom kernel although I don't think there are any custom kernels out right now uh, SE Linux is status enforcing uh, myself I'd like it to be permissive but you know it is what it is uh, quickly under system uh, your gestures are your swipe fingerprint for notification uh, basically what it means is you can swipe down or up on your fingerprint reader on the back and it will pull down your your quick settings it'll just pull them down you swipe back up and it will push them back up I like that feature uh, jump the camera is on double press on the power menu or power button brings up the camera uh, swipe up on the home button uh, I have that on so it, this is the Pi feature so basically when you swipe up on it once it brings up your recents and you swipe up on it again, you get your apps. Lift check phone and revert ringing. Uh, that's pretty much it. If we go into advanced, uh, we can go down to developer options. And I think if I'm not mistaken, developer options are on by default. Then I want to get down to drawing. As you can see, I shut all of my animations off. They were all set to one, just so you guys know. That's where they were all set to. And just for the sake of this review, I'm going to go ahead and turn them on to where they are. I had somebody comment on that, wanting to know, you know, I'd like to see the animations and that. So I'm going to go ahead and leave them on for you guys. Uh, display cutout. Again, this is a pie thing for devices that have that big notch. Uh, you can go with what they, they actually give you one option, either run without it like it's supposed to be, or you can actually put a tall cutout in there. And you're not going to be able to see it too good on mine, but you notice how that blacked out now. So I'm going to go ahead and turn that to device default and get rid of that. And that's pretty much it for developer options that, you know, I, I think is different than, you know, what you're normally used to seeing on a stock device. So I know you guys are dying to see the custom settings, so we're going to scroll on up here uh, and we are looking for the Coral Reef. And this is a different thing that no other device has, at least that I've seen yet, is their custom settings are the very first in line. Normally we have 
uh, your network, your connected devices, apps, blah, blah, blah. And it's usually like right between battery and display or some people put it clean down here at the bottom in settings, in the settings area. But they decided to put it right up here at the very first one. So the first up is enable customizations. You can turn that on or off. I turn it on because that allows you to do the advanced restart, uh, lockdown if you want, which I don't want. Screenshot, yes, I want that in there. And then you have your uh, screen off actions, you know, flashlight toggle, stuff like that. I like to run it with a long press. Uh, next up is Smart Nav. Um, I have mine enabled. So this, you can actually pick between your navigation mode. I have it on stock because I want to show the Pi versions. But you can go with Smart Bar, you can go with Fling. Smart Bar goes ahead and gives you that Recents tab uh, that you can, you know, you can actually see instead of the whole swipe up thing. Or you can go with Fling if you want, which gets rid of everything. It puts that little button down here. Everything's controlled by swipes. Next up is going to be Volume Rocker. Uh, you can run uh, screen off playback control if you want or not. I don't mess with the uh, controls for my volume rockers. Now, if we swipe to the right, that brings up the uh, uh, the lock settings, uh, lock screen, clocks. You can change between the lock screen clocks. Right now, I have the clock widget. In my clock style, I am running with Aqua Clock V4. And if you saw in the beginning, that is the Aqua Clock V4. And you can change that to pretty much any one you want. Uh, and yes, I have the date strip on there as well. You can turn that off if you don't like that. Weather options are up next. And the only options they give you are your Celsius or Fahrenheit. And then under general options, you have your lock screen charging, full screen media, cover art, you know, visual, uh, music visualizer, basic stuff that we're used to seeing on some of the other stock or some of the other custom ROMs. Uh, swipe to the right, that's going to bring up the status bar settings. You have your battery options. Under battery style, they give you quite a few here. I went with the big dotted circle. Uh, they do give you quite a few on this. Not as many as I'd like to see, but still quite a few on there. Battery percentage hidden next to the icon or inside the icon. I chose next to it. Under battery bar, they do give us a battery bar. Thank you very much, Aquarius, for that. Uh, I am a big time fan of the battery bar. Uh, these are the settings for that, or the positions for that. These are the settings, basically the style. Do you want it regular? you want it centered mirror, where it goes from the center out each way, or even reversed? Uh, your battery bar thickness, right now I have it at just 1 dp. You can go really thick if you want. 1 dp with a contrasting color is fine for me. Uh, so I just leave it there. And the nice thing about this ROM is they allow you to color the battery bar the way you want. Thank you for that. Um, there are ROMs out there right now that do not let you change the color. You have to use their default colors. So I really appreciate that, Aquarius. Uh, keep it up. Keep up the good work is what I mean to say. And clock options. Uh, you can turn it off or on just by clicking there. Get rid of the clock altogether. Or put it on. Uh, clock position right, center, and left. AM, PM if you want to run with that. I actually have a lot of stuff up here. I'm going to go ahead and clear everything out uh, so we can see my status bar. There we go. That's a little better. And then, of course, you have your date settings, which is your date, date style, date position, and uh, center Java format. Again, guys, I have no clue what center Java format is. If any of you do, please post down below and let us all know what that is. Uh, next up is going to be network indicator if you want to show your activity coming in and out. Click that on. I don't usually have that set on. Then you have your quick settings controls. You have your quick settings panel layout. You can actually, you know, uh, put your brightness slider, brightness slider on, you know, on the bottom if you want, adapt the brightness. Uh, quite a few things to choose from there. Number of rows, columns. Be careful with that. If you get too many rows down here, it's going to get to the point where you won't be able to hit your settings from there. You'll have to use your settings app in order to get to settings. So I have mine set at two and three, three columns and two rows. Uh, and then this is your portrait setup. And then your advanced panel theming. Uh, custom headers, um, yes, enable it. Uh, your header provider, no way. Let's go static image. Select header image, you gotta be, oh my God. I, guys, I'm, I'm just realizing this, that this device this rom has custom headers in it you've got to be shitting me 
Aquarius, awesome freaking job. I just realized this. I'm going to go with something. Um, let's make it that one there. Okay, header image set. So if I pull this down now, I got a header. That is awesome work, guys. I had a, I've been running this ROM now for, well, since, uh, since I heard about it. And I wanted to get a good feel for it. And I never even saw that. So that's awesome. Uh, header image shadow down here, of course. Okay, you have your uh, QS footer warnings, uh, show quick tile names, then you have your behavior, which is your pull down, you know, right, left, or do you don't, you want it at all. Uh, actually, I like my status bar pull down from the right. So if I pull down from the right, it's just going to pull the whole thing open. If I pull down from the left, I'm going to get my notifications first and then my quick settings. And if I pull it again, I'm going to get my entire quick settings along with the notifications. So uh, animation styles, I have mine on rotate, fast. And linear, you guys can choose whatever you want out of there. Bounce, you know, something like that. Status bar items are up next. And this is where you can turn off or on what you want to see there. Uh, this is for you to turn on or off any of the status bar features, you know, so you can unclutter your status bar if you want. Swipe to the right, that's going to bring up notification settings. Heads up. Again, thank you for allowing us to shut that off. It comes by default with that turned on. These are your settings for that. Uh, LED notifications, you can change that around if you want. And then you have your general notifications, which is, you know, under your power notification controls. Swipe to the right brings up your system settings, custom system settings, uh, recents, AOSP recents. Uh, I do have the clear all fab button on and clear all fab location. I have it on the bottom left. And I don't think that works with this. No. So that only works if you're running with the AOSP recents or smart bar or fling. Audio and display, screen off animations, I, I can't stand that, I wish they'd just get rid of that. Uh, then you have your audio options, if you guys are into listening to music and stuff, these are your settings for that as well. Custom gestures, you have your status bar top to sleep, if you want to swipe on the status bar, or tap it a couple times to sleep, that's that. Lock screen, tap to sleep, brightness control, and swipe finger for notifications. Then under miscellaneous, you have your fingerprint authentic authentication vibration. Uh, and I, I do have that on. I'm not running with a fingerprint reader right now. Uh, always show entry key and then allow signature spoofing. And then, of course, you have change log, which is going to show you the changes that they made to the ROM that they added or took out. Uh, anything like that is in here. Guys, if you're running Aquarius OS as your daily driver, you like it, you're using it as an everyday driver, you know, think about donating to the cause. Uh, we're losing developers left and right. But things have changed so much. And developers have just said, you know what, I'm tired of this. And, th and they're leaving left and right. So, you know, a donation to them really lets them know that you care. Uh, even a very small donation, a dollar, you know, it, it just, it goes a long way. So guys, that's pretty much it. I went through everything. We're going to go ahead and hit display and the theming in here. Uh, if you go down to advanced... Um, right now I have my accent color to yellow, uh, wait a background color, I have it set to black, we could go with light, that way you guys can actually see the difference, there you go, we could go with uh, pop-ins, we'll try that, that changed the font around, it's a little darker, under your background color you have the light UI, dark UI, and black. And black is good for AMOLED screens like this. Uh, so if you want to run and save battery life, go with the black. Then you have your tile settings. This is really cool. There's quite a few to choose from from here as well. Then you have your font size, your uh, display size. Okay, again, this is what I wanted to show you. Under accent color, you can actually swipe and go to a different color if you want. And that's where I got the yellow from. Same here. Uh, these are user requested and these are the material palettes. And I actually went with a, not a really bright yellow, but kind of like an in-between yellow and orange. And there you go. And then, and then for your background, again, um, like I said, it does save battery. If you go black background and you go uh, dark UI or black UI, it's gonna change the background to a black. Boop, there we go. That's it. It just needed to do a system guy. So guys, um, I'm having no problems with this. Uh, the camera is working great. I'm going to insert um, some video and photos. I'll be back after those are done. 
Yeah, hey everybody, I just wanted to let you guys see that um, the video camera is working on this. Uh, this is the rear facing camera, the main shooter, and I'm using an external mic. Uh, but you can't use one through, through the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack I found um, when I used to use this device a long time ago. <laughs> Microphones don't register quite right through the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack But they do work if you use it like the pixels and use a USB-C to 3.5 millimeter headphone Or microphone jack. Yeah, you know what I mean. So camera's working Okay, this is the front facing camera and I am using an external microphone on it uh, I do have the I do have the stabilization turned on but I doubt it's working as you guys can see, it's a pretty wide shot uh, for the front facing camera, especially if you flip it sideways. I'll try to get the studio in here. And man, I'm really shaking. But you guys can see it's working. And I am using an external microphone, so uh, there you go. So if we go under display and hit wallpapers, and clean down here in the bottom, you see water slides. If you click on that, these are the custom wallpapers and again you guys have heard me you know rant about custom ROMs not having easy access to their custom wallpapers and this just makes it so great uh, I'm glad they do this uh, so kudos to them for that as well and as a matter of fact I'm gonna go with that one there uh, set wallpaper home and lock screen save and there we are it should be on there we go so guys, that is Aquarius OS Android version 9.0 for the Nexus 6P. I think it is an awesome ROM. I give it, you know, six thumbs up, just like LOS and and AICP. Uh, this is, it's an outstanding ROM, guys. So if you liked the video, make sure you guys give it a thumbs up. Uh, don't forget to hit the uh, notification bell next to the subscribe button. Uh, if you guys are new and happen to wander into this video, uh, think about subscribing. Um, tell your friends, <laughs> share my videos. That really helps me out a lot. Uh, I want to thank all of my subs. You guys are the greatest, and I will see you on the next video. All right, well, for those of you that have stuck through the video, this far I'm gonna have a little giveaway and I didn't want to announce it in the announcements and I didn't want to say it throughout the video uh, this is my way of saying thank you to those of you that watch my videos the whole way through um, I am giving away a Depzol that's D-E-P-Z-O-L a USB-C OTG combo um, it has a, a micro USB reader plus an SD card reader in it it is the one that I use um, and I swear by them so I'm gonna give one of these away it's brand new uh, it'll read uh, both the SD micro SD and standard SD cards uh, this is gonna be the second place uh, giveaway oh it'll also read a USB stick if you have one of those plug it in doesn't matter what size it is it'll read it and you'll be able to use it on your phone uh, as backup or whatever so this is going to be the second prize. The first prize is going to be this Moto E4. Now this is a Verizon variant. So bear in mind, uh, the only SIM cards that work in that, uh, that I'm aware of, are the Verizon monthly pay-as-you-go. Yeah, one last thing I wanted to mention about the Motorola. It's going to come with a charging cord and a charging brick. There will be no SIM card. Um, and it's probably not going to have its original boxing because it's cheap. <laughs> you know what you get at Walmart um, but I'll try to find a nice container to put it in so it's just going to be the phone a charging cable and a brick just so you guys know so guys uh, if you want either of these two items make sure that you comment below and the word that I'm looking for is top hat <laughs> yes t-o-p-h-a-t uh, I don't care if it's two words top and hat or top hat together I don't care but somehow put that in your comment uh, and you will be eligible for the drawing. Uh, I'm going to give this a couple weeks. Um, I'll probably announce, uh, you know, when I'm going to have the drawing uh, well in advance. I want to leave this up for a while. 
uh, because usually these videos do get seen by quite a few people. But again, this drawing is going to be basically for those of you that watched the whole thing. So in your comments, don't give away, you know, that you have to say top hat. Put it in your, you know, comments somehow. Okay, guys. Anyways, uh, thanks again. I'll see you on the next video.